I think the last time you were here, uh, we, we had just opened up the tap room. Uh, we, we had just joined both sides and we had a lot of plans for Barrio Dog moving forward and we still do, but obviously the pandemic, you know, slowed things down. Um, we were uh, months prior to you being here, we were working on Tokyo, we were working on out of state projects. And then the last project that we were working on was Peckle Park. We did a concert for uh, Petco Park in November of 2019, and that kind of sparked our interest as to, hey, you know what, this is something that we really want to do. So we set up a meeting with them. They loved Barrio Dog. They gave us the opportunity to come in and build a Barrio Dog inside of Petco Park. March of 2020, uh, we had completed the Barrio Dog project inside of Petco Park, and we were super excited to open up our first season. Uh, and March 16th comes along, and. It's like if the carpet gets pulled out from under you, right? Um, we obviously had to make changes. Uh, but the good thing about Barrio Dog is that we're resilient. Um, we learned to shift and pivot during that time and really um, go back to the mentality of how we started. We had to remember, hey, we started off with a hot dog cart. We started off in front of an art gallery. So there's nothing that they're going to be able to throw at us that's going to stop us. So thank God that we were able to stay open the entire pandemic and we didn't have to let anybody go you know we just learned how to trim and be slim and be tight and then uh, we had a great support from our community from the city from visitors so it, it gave us the energy we needed to just go through it so coming into 2021 um, we were excited to be able to come into Petco Park but we still didn't know what it was gonna look like so we came in and we brought in the hot dog cart they, they told us that they were gonna start off with limited capacity. They only started off with 15,000 fans. So we brought out the original hot dog cart that we started with in the art gallery to Petco Park. That was an opportunity for us to get to know people, um, put the name out there, uh, and then slowly but surely they started to open up more capacity. And on June 17th, we were able to open up our permanent location on the terrace level. Well, I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a surprise for a lot of people um, who are visiting San Diego uh, to get to taste the flavors of San Diego, right? Because I think every ballpark has its own flavor, its own distinct style of doing things. And what better than Barrio Dog, the Chicano flavor. We're a cross-border city, right? Our flavor meshes uh, are expressed in our hot dogs. And now to get peop to people to try that, um, it's an awesome opportunity. The other thing that I like is um, that we have people who are from here, San Diego, who are now able to go in the Petco Park and have Barrio Dog. Our goal coming in um, was to be the best uh, hot dog that you can find in San Diego, obviously, but in Major League Baseball, right? So the Cholito is what people are, are being drawn to. And, and for us, it's a great way to spotlight what Barrio Dog does. So San Diego Magazine uh, just voted us best restaurant in Petco Park. Uh, which is a huge accomplishment um, for the team because that's one of the things that um, was one of the hurdles that we had to overcome in growing is making sure that you have strong teams and so the team that we built at Petco Park was able to get us that accolade in the first year. For so um, Barrio Dog obviously um, we, we're growing inside of Petco Park in itself. I, you know, I, I see more locations inside of Petco Park in the future. Um, but for us, we want to expand. You know, we had we have a vision um, to take Barrio Dog to other barrios all over the nation. And so there's places like San Antonio, there's places like Tucson, Arizona, there's places like you know Northern California that we have on our radar. Um, and and as as we finish up the season, we'll be more active in that. I just want to thank all the fans, support, everybody who's been supporting us throughout this pandemic. Um, I know that people have choices of where to eat, you know. I want people to always have the Barrio Dog experience of wherever they're at. So that's our main focus, that no matter what type of climate we're in, no matter what's going on in the world, people have a place to come and enjoy a good hot dog.